Hello guys, uh, my name is Nick, and over the course of this week I'm going to attempt to do a series of steel pan lessons that I teach on specifically the lead tenor pan. There's several steel pan drums in the steel pan family. Uh, it starts at the top with the lead tenor, which is what I'll be kind of teaching on. There's uh, several YouTube videos that go over this instrument, and they're informative and they do teach you things, but I'm just going to try to do a different way of teaching it. Uh, also, for those, if you don't have an instrument, then these videos will be very helpful because whether you do or do not have a pan, it really won't matter because I'm going to try to teach on this, which is kind of how I learned. Going back to, like I said, uh, a lead tenor pan, there's going to be two types of, of tenor pans, so you're just going to have to find out which one you have. There's a high C and there's a low C tenor pan, which all that refers to is depending on which, you know, which of your low notes there are. So, example, with my pan specifically, the one I'll be teaching on is a high C, which means that my lowest note is going to be my low D, and then for a low C tenor pan, it's going to be a low C. So example, this is what my D sounds like, which is the lowest note on my pan. And then here's what my C sounds like, which is the highest low note, which is the low notes of the outer ring here. Um, on my pan. So if you have a low C, then obviously your C is going to be an octave lower, you know, than, than that. Um, right. Uh, so, like I said, if you have a pan or don't have a pan, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to teach on this thing. The only reason I brought that up is to know following the video is the pan that I have is going to be a the, the high C, so that way it may sound different variances. Um, but like I said, if this is how I'm going to teach. I'm only going to go to this for references. This, this is how I learned uh, a few years ago. I used to live in the Caribbean, and I heard the instrument for the first time, immediately fell in love with it, but had nothing to practice on and no way of learning. So I made one of these, which is what you're going to want to do. You're going to get some, uh, some cardboard or whatever. And then I painted mine white so you can see it. And then you're just going to draw your bubbles on here. And then these bubbles, I put four in here at the time, I didn't know there was five, so those are kind of irrelevant for right now, but that comes later. So you're going to want to make one of these, and then if you don't have this to learn on, I'm going to teach it in such a way that you just learn the pattern. So like when I started, you can just, you know, start with the pattern. Um, also, if you don't have a pan, I strongly recommend in the future when you are about to get one, um, get a pan from Trinidad. They are the best pans. And, you know, yeah, I mean, they make a few in Akron, Ohio, and a few in, in the U.S., but if you can get one from Trinidad, this is where I got mine from. Mine was handmade in Trinidad, never had a tune. I played it more aggressively than I probably should have, but I just play passionately. So if you're interested in a Trinidad, in a training pan, and you have no way of finding it, you can email me, and I can try to help you out with that. And if not, then just use Google. It's fairly helpful. So... Anyways, best of luck learning. I hope you learned something from the video, and yeah, let's do this.